Hello viewers, in this video I will show you how to input matrix in R and perform their operations. And for this exercise we will use the sample questions. Here we have two matrices A and B and the followings are the problems we have to solve this in R. So let's get down to the business. First of all, we will input the matrices A and B in R. So A Since we are taking the values as a column and it is a 3 by 3 matrix, so we have to write the number of column is equal to 3 and run this code to get the matrix. And similar for B. So we have input two matrix in R. Now we will perform the operations of matrix in R. So now for matrix addition, we will write the code below A plus B and run it. We found the addition, the results of A plus B. We can keep the results in a variable named s like this and to run this code we'll get the similar answers for matrix subtraction we can write a minus b since we are subtracting the matrix b from a running this code we found the subtraction of a minus b now for matrix multiplication we can write a star b running this code we find the result a multiplication of b now to determine the determinant of the matrix we can write the code of the matrix for a determinant of a and running this code we found determinant of a is 160 similar for b yeah now the transpose of a matrix convert the column into row and row into column to determine the transpose of the matrix a we can write the code t of a and to run this we found the transpose matrix of a you can see that the column has changed into row and the row has been changed into column and similar for b transpose of B running this code we found the transpose matrix of B now the solution of the matrix A and B we already find the determinant of A and B since the determinant of A and B is not equal to 0 so we can find the solution of A and B for solution of the matrix A we can write SOLP solve of A running this we found the solution of A and similar for B
and finally for calculations of the rank of the matrix a and b we have to load the library matrix it is by default installed in r so loading the package library library matrix and to run it the package is loaded now the rank matrix of a we write rank matrix of a run it and we found the rank of the matrix is 3 and similar for b run it we found also the rank matrix of b is 3 so that's all about today's video thanks for watching bye bye